Hi, Robin Richard here again, and now I have a brand new half ton diesel truck for you. So let's go ahead and take a look real quick. All right, Robin, here we have a brand new 2020 Silverado. And this is a half ton. It comes with what they're calling the baby Duramax. So it's a three liter, six cylinder Duramax engine. And here you can see the, uh, the newly designed front face of the Silverado. That's all new for 2019. This is a chrome bumper because this is an LT model. You can see there it has the Z71 off-road package. You can see part of that here on the wheels. It comes with off-road tires. And it comes with these nice uh, dark silver with the machined face uh, aluminum alloy wheels. These are 20 inch, 20 inch wheels here. And this guy comes with the, uh, the black assist steps. It does have a nice textured uh, ribbing there, so it's not slippery or anything like that. You do also have the uh, the passive entry system, so as long as you have the key fob in your pocket, or on you, like maybe maybe in your purse, uh, you can get into the truck nice and easily there. Just push to lock or unlock the doors. You can see here the window sticker. And the cool thing about this baby Duramax is that you're getting a half ton truck, but you can see you're getting almost 30 mpg on the highway. That's unheard of for a for a for a half ton truck. One other cool thing about these brand new Silverados, especially the diesels, is that you move the def fluid to the uh, the fuel door, so you don't have to actually go under the hood to put, to put diesel exhaust fluid in there anymore. Move around to the back. We still have the uh, the corner steps here. With a chrome bumper of course you do have a trailer hitch and your trailer hookups there and this is a, a damped power lower tailgate you just tap that button there and it lowers down you do have the factory bed liner and one of the cool things about these tailgates with the new Silverados is they're lightweight they're made out of high strength aluminum so they're not going to be, uh, they're, not, they're not going to require you to be a bodybuilder to close them. Overall, a great looking truck. This guy is a full crew cab again. So you can see here, you get lots of space back here. Overall, you get about two extra inches in the back versus the, uh, the prior generation of Silverado. Uh, these are cloth seats. They're nice and durable. They have some nice, uh, nice features on them that make it look you know, pretty nice. Got some nice uh, hidden storage here behind the seats. You just pull that tab and you have a nice little cubby area down here. That is on both sides. As well as a little fold-out cup holder here as well. You also have the uh, the all-weather flow liners here. And also a, a center console that's actually the third seat for the front row. This guy is folded up right now. I'll show you what it looks like when it's folded down too. You do also have some vents back here and some USB charging ports for your back passengers. I'll go ahead and show you the front suit. So here we have the front seats. You can see there are also cloth up here. Lots of room in here. The Silverado has class leading front seat headroom and legroom. Got two glove boxes here, the bottom one of which locks. And then over here we have the, uh, the center console, of course. One cool thing about having the third row up, or sorry, the third seat up here, is of course you can you can raise it or lower it. Right over here we have a little tab. You just pull that, and it comes on down. You have your center console here, some pretty good space back there. And then you also under here have a nice little storage area as well. But let me go ahead and get behind the driver's seat and I'll show you what it looks like from the business end. Alrighty Robin, so here we are behind the uh, the wheel of the brand new 2020 uh, Baby Dura Max Silverado. And go, I'll go ahead and start it up for you. So you just put your foot on the brake and tap this little button here. That'll start her up. Push button starts, pretty cool. On the steering wheel here, we do have cruise control as well as a heated steering wheel. And then over here we have some buttons to control this color display in the middle and some buttons for your Bluetooth phone controls. 
The center console here is uh, nice and packed full of information. Basically anything you can want, we have. Uh, over here, you can look at all the different information in terms of trip information and fuel economy and oil life and all kinds of cool stuff. All at your fingertips, all right there in front of your face. You don't have to go looking in the screen or anything like that. It's all right there. Over here, we do have the uh, the drive mode selector. So you have automatic, two high, four high, and four low. And also, you do have a trailer mode as well. So if you put it like that, it'll go into trailer mode uh, and kind of change how the transmission shifts. And it gives you more power when you need it. You do also have automatic headlights as well as a button for your bed lights. And these ones control how bright or dim your dash lights are. Over here on the door panel, we do have power windows. The driver's side is express up and down. And you do have controls for your, uh, your side mirrors as well, of course. Looking over here to the center of the vehicle, we do have Chevy's latest infotainment system. I'm going to go ahead and dismiss that disclosure there. I'll go ahead and mute it as well. Uh, so let's see. So this guy is really well laid out. You know, it's, it's very similar to the one that we saw before, the uh, uh, that white pre-owned one. But you do have your basic uh, apps here for your your radio and for your phone and your Bluetooth and stuff like that. This guy does come with satellite radio, and if you look here, it does also come with a Wi-Fi hotspot as well. That's through the OnStar service. You can basically get Wi-Fi in your vehicle. Uh, so you don't have to use that pesky mobile data on your phone, which can be uh, kind of pricey. You do have down here a couple of, uh, well, you have dual zone climate controls, automatic, of course. And you do also have your heated seats as well. So you can do just your back or your back and your bottom, which is kind of nice. Lots of safety features here as well. You do also have the automatic stop-start system for this engine. What that means is that when you come to a stop, say at a stoplight, um, as long as the vehicle is is in the right conditions, it'll actually shut off the engine. That will help you save some gas while you're waiting at a waiting at a red light or something like that. Uh, but some people don't like that, so you can turn it off if you don't like it. You do also have a trailer brake down here. They actually moved the position, so it's over here by your right hand, which I think is a really great place for it. Uh, you do also have your USB chargers down here. It's also how you can use your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. And you can see those little buttons right here. And then you also do have uh, your cigarette lighter charger and your household outlet as well. But overall, this has been a pretty good overview of our brand new Silverado half ton, but with the Duramax engine. It's a really cool, a really cool truck. Uh, the biggest difference here is the engine, of course. But other than that, it's still a really nice truck. So, so the, uh, the price for this guy, we're selling this one currently at $46,725. Um, that is with several factory rebates as well. But anyway, again, this is Richard, and uh, thank you for your time. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. I'll be more than happy to help you out.